Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to uh, unbox this Starlink right here. We got this for work and we'll see if this is something that we can use right here. Um, just to let you know that right here, as you can see in my background, it's mostly coconuts here. So there's not a clear view for the sky. So as we all know that Starlink needs a clear skies overhead just for it to work because it's gonna be getting um, internet connection from the satellites above right but first um let's go ahead and box it before we go ahead and install and see if it is something usable for work so let's go let's see where we can open it so I, I gotta need this one here because i really need to work right here where my family is i don't need to go to cities just to work just to get an internet right let's find where we can open it up this is kind of confusing. Okay, so I think we can open it from here. All right, this one. We need some kind of something to unlock it. Okay, so we have a knife right here. All right, so I think that should do it. And then put it back, open it from, from here. Okay, so we got this foam right here. Let's open it up. And of course, nothing yet. Let's try to open this. There's basically nothing here. <laughs> It's just totally empty. And first we have the stand and of course the box. And then finally we got here the, I think this is the receiver, the satellite dish. So you need to put it just like okay. So I think that's the way you're going to put it right there. And of course there's this huge manual right here it's pretty huge right <laughs> let's put it down and then finally what we got here is the modem the router i'm not so sure uh, what exactly that is and then of course the power cord right here i think this goes from here the bottom going there it's cool and of course the cord which i'm not sure how long this is but this is built and connected from this dish right here and i think this is going right so let's go ahead and um power it up uh put this somewhere we have clear kive view and then let's see if how this is gonna work all right just wanted to show you our surroundings in here just like what I said earlier, there's a lot of obstruction. As you can see, those are coconut trees right there. It is all over the place. It is surrounding our house, trees. So we'll find a place where at least we can get the clear sky view as possible. Okay, so, so far, this is the best that I have. So that part right there is a tower supposedly for water source, but around the house, it is where we have the most clear view of the sky. So let's go ahead and uh, power it up for the very first time. Let's see right there. So this one right here, it doesn't come with um, this adapter. So we're gonna be needing one good thing that we have this here in the house so let's power it up and let's see if what's gonna happen next okay. i don't see an indication okay. that's good i see lights in there so let's see it's not moving it's not moving yet okay it's moving right now so i think it's trying to locate a um, satellite and from there nothing else so let's see all right so According to the manual, we need to set it up. So let's go. I got this Starlink um, application downloaded already. And then you just need to open it and then click on continue. And then from there, you just need to select whatever satellite you have. And in this case, we have this top left one. And then confirm. And then next, we just need to, we've done that already. So we've installed it already. And then we just need to hit next. And then from there, I can see there's now, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, find the Wi-Fi. It says Starlink here. And then let's connect from there. Join your Starlink Wi-Fi network. It may take about 30 seconds. Starlink settings. And then let's go uh, Wi-Fi settings. 
Let's connect Starlink. Unable to join Starlink network for some reason. Wi-Fi settings, connect. Say unsecured network, but it should be now connected according to settings. Okay, it says enter Wi-Fi network name. Okay, let's just name this as one. And then of course the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then um, create so that's going to be the password and all right so let's go ahead and um, reconnect again using that password that we just set up go password one two three four five six seven eight and then join all right we should be now connected so let's go back to the wi-fi all right let's go all right continue it is now saying starting paired successfully tap continue to finish setting up so let's just hit continue right there and it is now calibrating so let's see if this is going to move it is not moving yet so far you're starting just powered on at work performance should be stabilized after about 15 minutes it says offline all right should we wait for 15 minutes okay now it says online that's cool let's go speed test but it's still actually phasing upward but we got 14 Mbps so far. That's cool. Latency is 168 ms. And of course, upload is around 3 to 4 Mbps. So it's saying that we're um, actually good now. And as you can see, okay, I think we're good because I'm starting to get messages now. And as you can see right there, the, what do you call that? You know, it is moving. I think it's trying to find, you know, um, sunlight is moving itself. Pretty cool. I'm happy. That's so easy to set up. So what I wanted to find out now, if this is actually going to be consistent, if it is something's usable when it comes to my work, because I do um, online freelancing. So uh, that's how easy you guys can set up a uh, Starlink and just to let you know that here it is totally dead spot no any network from or any um, signal from any network as you can see my surroundings in here where something's really remote so I think so far everything's good now I think we're, we just need to like wait for 15 minutes for um, starting to find every satellite impossible for him to find from the sky Thanks you guys for watching and um, please subscribe for more.